Greetings everyone, it's Shimbad here. We're having a fantastic day. So last year, around right about this time, I played through Tomb Raider 1. And I figured, you know what, I'm gonna keep March a sort of a dedicated Tomb Raider month for well I say month. It's it's gonna be when I play Tomb Raider games. And it's mostly for context. When I was growing up, um I used to play games with my dad. Um reached the point where we didn't play that many games together mostly because he used to travel a lot for work but one game series that we used to play a lot together was Tomb Raider um when we got the family PC it was one of the not one of the first games we bought on the PC but it was an early game we got on the PC and me and my dad played through it together um typically I would play it uh when he was around and I would sit there and I'd watch him and Particularly Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 3, I remember being quite a cooperative experience for me and my dad. Um, and then eventually, um, I mean, we, we kind of played Chronicles together. We never played Tomb Raider 4. That was one that we skipped out on. Tomb Raider 4, we didn't play together. Chronicles, we kind of did. Um, but by that point, I can't remember how old I was. It, it was. I was quite capable of playing Tomb Raider on my own by that point. Um... And then Angel of Darkness, we never really played together. He played it and he hated it. <laughs> he absolutely hated that game. And Tomb Raider 2 was one of those weird ones because I remember playing it with him. But what I more remember about Tomb Raider 2 is that my dad, an old laptop he had, he it, it, it was one that he would take with him to work, with, on work. Um, I think it was a personal laptop, not a work laptop. But he had to made it. He installed Tomb Raider 2 on it for him to play when he was away from home. Basically, when he was, um, he would stay a lot at like um, travel lodges and premier inns, that sort of thing, for his work. And he would have Tomb Raider with him. But he, he also played a couple of other things, if I remember correctly, mostly Monopoly on his phone. But Tomb Raider 2 was one of the ones that he played. And one of the things he did, because he's a madman like this, he actually beat the whole of Tomb Raider 2 and got every single secret. Now, whether or not he did this using a guide or just because he decided to put the hours in to figure out where all the secrets were credit to him and i remember he came home one day and he just showed me the um his stat screen at the end of the game and be like yeah secrets all of them got them all are you impressed <laughs> i can't remember if he asked me if i was impressed but i was <laughs> at the time <coughs> <clears throat> at the time I was impressed and I'm still impressed to this day because my dad isn't like uh, you know he grew up playing games unlike the old uh well pre um Nintendo Entertainment System the NES he he played things on the what would have been like the Atari and the Commodore the Amstrad probably I mean all the all that stuff where you know it's like controllers used to have one button and he would tell us that all the time <laughs> yeah we only need one button and one button did everything and that's what he would say to us quite often when talk about like newer consoles and just newer games and how much more complicated they were though old games are very complicated because <laughs> moon logic and just i'm trying to figure stuff out but um basically this this is just my way of sort of um paying like some sort of respect towards my dad and um because because this month is his birth month and it just seems right to play two major games to kind of celebrate not only him but also just this franchise as a whole so that that was my spiel from the first similar to the first two major uh so yeah let's jump into two major two so i don't remember this game very well i um I do remember playing it i do remember we we beat it because i i remember the final level i remember the final boss well the final level and the final boss, I view as two completely different things. But I I do remember bits of it. Um, and I remember where we used to, where, kind of where we got stuck. And the things that we used to do to overcome the stuckness. Oh, I was about to say, it is super, that was super dark screen. But it's fine, because this game is dark in places. Because you have flares to help you. But we... <coughs> we'll go to Lara's home and we'll do. Uh, I would do the tutorial, well, the tutorial, the training area, but we're not. We're going to jump straight into the game and. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if this is actually capturing this. <laughs> 
gonna have to check that out in post to see if that actually captured. But yes, this is Tomb Raider 2. And yeah, it's it's basically built for, built on the same engine as Tomb Raider 1. It is with, 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 with a couple of tweaks here and there. There's a couple of new moves. There's a couple of just like um yeah, like there I was wading through water as opposed to just like water being deep enough for me to swim in. Now if I remember a tiger should have spawned just down hey okay, hey there's a tiger we're going to ignore the tiger mostly because i can't be bothered to get up <laughs> but yes currently um we are at the great wall of china i believe i believe that's the first stage for this game because this this game is all about um a mystical chinese artifact which i'm hoping uh -huh, here we are for secrets so secrets in this game are um you have three secrets per stage and they are represented by these um different dragons you've got a j a, a, a silver dragon a jade dragon and a gold dragon oh come on oh game you shouldn't be struggling on me this is a this is a pc with a dedicated graphics card and all, all, all the works um right okay so i can walk up on this ledge So yeah, we're, we're at the Great Wall of China because we are... Oh, do you know what? I don't actually... Well, no, no, no. Well, I deserve that. Ah! Aha! Scared of the water, are you? <laughs> well, I, I kind of deserve that. There's actually two tigers down here. I, I didn't actually realise the second one spawns. <laughs> I, I remember back in the day, you know, I just, I'm, I'm living a tiger down here. That's interesting. So if you were to go for 100% kills, I wonder if, um, that'd just be a pain if it, if it spawns when you're like further up the, um, the way, I suppose. Oh, but let's get ourselves back up and we will you on our merry way. So yeah, this this game introduces some new features. Uh, as we saw in that demo clip, it was very dark. So you have flares. Flares help light the way, and um, there's new weapons. There's a couple of new moves. Uh, mostly once you're climbing. Right. Let's not mess this up. Let's climb up here. And ah yes, there is. Oh, okay, never mind. Also, isn't it weird that the water level goes right up to the edge there? I mean... Oh, another thing you're, you might be thinking is, why aren't I playing this on the uh, the remaster? Because the, they recently did a remaster for Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3, which, oh, I'll tell you what, that was really cool. The fact is, I'd already started playing these games in the the original versions and I there's there's two parts of it I'd already played Tomb Raider 1 like the original Tomb Raider 1 for PC um and there was an element where I kind of said to myself I don't want to play well I I, I, I don't want to play oh Jesus Christ Though, these birds take heck like quite a few bullets to take down <laughs> oh, I can't remember that's a new move. The fact that you can, um, when, when, when you jump in the air, jump forward, you can also do a roll in midair. Ah, oh, you know, there, there are little things that just make the exploration elements and the gunplay just so much better. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to go down this way because there was a key somewhere. Uh, let's jump into the water. It's probably in the water. Then we'd have to climb our way back up. And probably fight some more tigers. But yes. Um... Oh, there's a cave. Aha! That looks like a key. Oh, good. She's Because a... when she finds items on the ground now, she goes, Aha! And, um... and I was wondering if she did that underwater, because that would be kind of funny. But surely that would just cause you to lose oxygen faster. But... Hey, a tiger! I do have, I do start with a shotgun. Um, I'm not going to use it on the tiger because 
Oh! We, 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 we're not going to use the shotgun because... I swear that tiger went down much quicker than the crows did. That's um, that's some weird. That's some weirdness for you. I want to say that there is like a secret around here. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I played this one. Um, in fact, the last time I played Tomb Raider two, Chris, I, I don't think I played Tomb Raider two since me and my dad played through it. Mostly because um, I don't really have an excuse actually for why I never played this one again. Um, I think because we spent a lot of time trying to beat Tomb Raider 3. We never actually finished Tomb Raider 3. So when I come to Tomb Raider 3 next year, I am going to be so happy to be able to put that one to bed. <laughs> no, okay. I'm guessing it's just a slippy slope that I can't quite maneuver around but that's fine because we can just climb up here now i'm a bit worried about when the game goes into its uh cut scenes particularly again i'm not quite sure if we were able to when i review the footage we'll see if it uh if it played the thing for us in a resolution that we could actually see and enjoy ah oh spiders little spiders I hear something scratching around. Now I know in this game you fight a lot more sort of human opponents. That is a um, it's it's quite common that you fight a lot more again like, humanoid opponents, which I I find kind of interesting because they obviously didn't have a lot of those in the first. Oops. Yikes! They didn't have a lot of those in the first game. In fact, I should probably make use of saving. I think ladders are a new thing. I'm trying to remember that. Yeah, I think ladders are a new one. Are they not for two minutes two? Go away, spider. Uh -huh. Oof. Should have safety dropped. So, let's have a look. Oop. So, this is the other thing that's kind of useful. You can just run up to the... Um, Actually, could you do it in Twitter? Now I don't. You see, I only played it last year and I don't remember anything about Tomb Raider 1, which is awful. <laughs> it's awful that I don't remember anything. Oh, hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Big Med Kit and some shotgun shells. Useful, but again, I don't plan on using the shotgun until I come across things that. Ah! Where did that spider come from? Yeah, out of my way. Let's just check for any. Check for secrets. I don't think there's any here because I think the next one is. Not quite a secret. It's more of a. You're, you're going to be. Press to, to press to get it because it's kind of time sensitive. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's just that's just rude. I did say this was the Great Wall of China, didn't I? I'm pretty sure that's what the stage is. Oh! Oh no! Boulders! Oh, I think I... I jumped too soon. <laughs> yeah, the Great Wall. I jumped too soon there. Whoops. Oh, okay, there'll be it. It was behind me. It was behind me the entire time. In fact, I saw where that dropped down from. Yeah, they literally just spawned in. Right. Uh -huh. um, I mistimed my jump because 
depth perception is a little bit difficult at times. Like it's weird. I, I can I can look at a jump and kind of go, yeah, I can make that jump. But when it comes to um <coughs> there's some things that are just a lot more difficult to perceive, like when I was running towards those spikes, my I'm not quite sure how close I am to these spikes. I suppose Oh hello. <laughs> of course. I could have just done this to get past the um the disc shooty things. I'm a genius. <laughs> One, I'm a genius for not noticing it in the first place, and second, I'm a genius because I notice it now. And then once the water is deep enough, we can kind of swim down and around and but yeah, so I go back to um a couple of other points. Um I did sort of mention um, that I was going to do a mech shooter after Zelda. There's a reason why I didn't, and um, mostly... You know what, actually, I'm just going to drop a save, because sometimes it's just... You know, safety saves. It felt like there's actually something back there. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Now I could have sworn that was a secret there. Now, the thing I want to have a look at is just get crushed by boulders. Um it's I could have sworn there was a secret. Um, well, no, just just keep moving, just keep moving, Lara. Oh, again, I, I need to get my depth perception right on that. So if I jump out about here, we're good. Let's grab these automatic pistol bullets. I could have sworn that the, the there was a secret at this death trap here. Oh Jesus! Hmm. Now I'm not really too sure. I'll come back to that. I fail. Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. See, I told you there was a secret. And it's not really a secret, it's more of a um you're gonna be you're gonna be press pressed to get this. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, do you know what? I think we are gonna use Oh no. I'm gonna I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna save save my game and also just save my healing items. Because obviously using your healing items because because you only have a limited amount of them you want to be very cautious of how you use them okay, so there's a zip wire there but what be careful with spiders now why do i think oh Is there a... Oh, it does look like I can quite jump up there. That seems a bit weird. That, that would suggest to me I can drop down from there. Or something... Well, I mean, Spider could probably drop down from there. So let's just have a quick look around. Oh, watch out for those. Let's just get myself back on the other side, please. Oh, ho, ho. Who would have thought there would have been all these death traps in the Great Wall of China? Hmm. So the reason why I'm really being sort of conscious of the secrets is because with the secrets in this game, you have the three dragons. Once you collect the three dragons, you actually get like a handful of items. And I'm kind of conscious that I want that ha those handful of items because it would be super useful. 
does help if I was facing the right way when trying to drop down from a wall. But if you notice, there looks to be... I... Ah, uh, no. Yeah, crunch. There looks to be something there, and I'm curious now, because there must be a way down. There has to be a safe way down. And I reckon... Oh! I know I'm really pushing my luck here, because I'm on, like, no health. My own fault. Okay, can I... Oh, okay, I, I can... Yeah, so I can drop down here. So I reckon there's something in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this leads to a... If it doesn't lead to a secret, it will lead to items that will still be very useful to me, for me. There's a flares. Uh -huh. Flares are useful. See when you know you're in a darkened area. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Again, because the the artifact you're after in this game, I think it's the Dago Jian, which if I get a chance to, I'll I'll okay, so yeah. That leads back to here. That's by four. But it looks like we can take this down. Lara, please, like, yeah. Use ladders sensibly, Lara. So hopefully. Hmm. As you will have noticed, that this level is a lot longer than the first level of Two Mater One. Actually. I probably blitzed my way through that because I knew what I was doing because I played that stage so many times as a kid. Again, this one I don't know as well, so it's going to be interesting when we reach that point. I, well, I, I, I vaguely remember the second level. I remember there's like a boat that you drive around in. Because you have vehicles you can drive in this game, yes! <laughs> right. Right. That took a long time to drop down here, so I'm just going to drop a quick save. Keep an eye out for... I'm looking for a gold dragon. Oh, this isn't... Oh! Oh, sweet jumping Jesus! It's a T-Rex! I didn't think that there was a T-Rex in this game. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's drop a small health pack. The heck, game. Seriously? <laughs> you know, the, the, the amount... Oh, at least that one went down, like, with minimal fuss, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> Because there's our gold dragon. Yes. Because we want this. It's dark in here. Uh -huh. Because you will notice I would have got a health pack and... Oh! Seriously? I mean, I did just get a grenade launcher. But I want to save that. <laughs> this is this is the problem with these sorts of games. You guys sit there and go, Ah, oh, I got this cool thing. Oh, but I want to save that for later. So what we're going to try and do is, I'm just going to, like, run past this T-Rex. <laughs> Who thought of... <laughs> I mean, okay, this, this, this... No, I'm dead. Because there's contact damage. Brilliant. <laughs> let's try that again. Let's try, let's try and um, run past you again. And this time, don't get murdered. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get murdered. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to make it. Quick. Quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, my word. We're back down to zero health. I mean, I could have just hidden that little cubby hole, I suppose, where the gold dragon was and shot it from there. That would have been the big brain thing to do, but I am clearly 
not very big brain today. <laughs> but this would mean that, now that I think about it, that would, because I noticed dinosaurs in Tomb Raider 3 as well, so that would give us three Tomb Raider games where Lara Croft goes around and kills dinosaurs. Wow. I mean, and that's not even like the, one of the weirdest parts of this game. I mean, look, okay, let's truth be told, Tomb Raider 1 was really weird with the Atlantean stuff. Oh well. Oh dear dear dear. So let us hope that I, again I'm hoping that when we get to the end of the stage, because I know a cutscene a, a sort of a some dialogue plays out. Uh, a conversation between um Lara and another character. And I'm hoping that that all gets kind of captured nicely so you're at least able to follow the plot. <laughs> Down the zipwire we go! Whoosh! <laughs> Watch out for the dinosaur! Oh, there's a tiger there! <laughs> this is fine. Oh! <laughs> Sweet jumping Jesus! <laughs> Oh, and yeah, this is the end of the level. I'm not going to stand in that fire, because that sounds like a bad idea. And there's a... I feel like I should be able to pick that up, but there's a door here. Let's head to the door. Oh good, the cutscene plays out the way I hoped it would. Pardon me. If that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> With a tommy gun on my keyring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then. Dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. You told me where I needed to go, well. Perhaps not just yet then. Interesting that, you know, what I'm assuming is a... Aha, Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Health back to use, 1.0. <laughs> hey, we covered 2.57 kilometers. That's pretty good. But yes, so the next stage of this game is set in Venice. And this is where the next portion of the game takes place, but we are going to tackle that next time. I spent a bit too much time um, setting the scene, if you will, uh, for this game. I got my dad and all that. But, um, yeah, you know, I I do enjoy the Tomb Raider games. I think they're a lot of fun. I haven't played the, the newest ones. In fact, Host Angel of Darkness, I haven't played any of them. Uh, except Anniversary. I had that on the Wii, and that was quite fun. Uh, but we and motion controls and you're just like, oh, why do I do this to myself? But anyway, with that all said and done, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. There'll be links to my socials in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Where we'll enjoy our time in Venice and hopefully not crash a speedboat. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey, thanks for joining me on this episode of Tomb Raider 2. So yes, this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Because again, this is a game I haven't played in a really long time. And... Yeah, like I said, I completely forgot there were dinosaurs here. Anyway, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you can click on me right now. Voice over there, there'll be a playlist of Tomb Raider 1, just in case you haven't watched me play through that one. And there'll be some other things you can watch. I'm pretty sure you'll, you, you might enjoy those. I don't know. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you when I next do.